And ladies and gentlemen, that's the call to the post for the richest quarter horse race in America. The prestigious All-American Futurity, race number 11 on today's program with a purse of $2,400,000. Rio Delsa Downs, proud to have leading the post parade, is Roy Cooper, who's won virtually every major rodeo in the country. He has six world championship titles. He was a world champion calf roper in 1976 1980 through 84, the world champion steer roper in 1983, the world champion all-around cowboy in 1983. Again, we welcome Roy Cooper leading the post parade for this year's All-American Futurity. Time now to introduce the two-year-olds for the All-American Futurity, 26 trials with nine finalists for the All-American Futurity. And number one is Sudden Thoughts. Sudden Thoughts is owned by the 21 Partnership and trained by Eduardo Gonzalez, being ridden by Rodrigo Aceves. Number two has just won a Corona. It's owned by Douglas Trailer and trained by John Steinbau, one of three horses Steinbau trains, and the jockey is Freddie Martinez. Number three is Native T. Rose, owned by Abigail Kawana Nakoa, who owned the 1993 All-American Futurity winner in a classic dash, trained by Cody Joyner, and the jockey is Cody Jensen. Number four is Mr. Perry Cartel, owned by J&M Racing and Farm, trained by Alex Sanchez and being ridden by Felipe Garcia Luna. Scratch number five, Jesse Zuman. The winner of the Ed Burke Million Futurity at Los Alamitos is number six, One Dashing Eagle, owned by Jose and Gustavo De La Torre and the San Gregorio Racing Stables Incorporated, trained by Jose De La Torre, and the rider is Ramon Sanchez. Number seven is Crash Cartel, owned by Los Permitos, trained by John Steinbau, being ridden by Rodrigo Vallejo. And here's the fastest qualifier, winning a trial by five and three quarter lengths, undefeated in five starts, winner of the Rio Dosa Futurity, PJ Chicken Black, owned by Dennis Bowen, Susan Taylor in the Jack Smith Farms, trained by John Steinbau, being handled by Esgar Ramirez. The winner of the Heritage Place Futurity at Remington Park, number nine, BP Cartel's Alibi. Owned by Raimundo Villarreal Jr., trained by Blaine Wood, being ridden by Ricky Ramirez. And number 10, Aha Moment, who dead heated with BP Cartel's alibi in trial number 25, is owned by Jimmy and Marilyn Harrell, trained by Paul Jones, and being ridden by Saul R Ramirez Jr. That's the field for this year's All American Futurity. And away they go in the All-American Futurity and a beautiful start for one dashing eagle. Aha moment also came away well. Sudden thoughts from down on the inside. Native T. Rose, BP Cartel's alibi is also right there, but it's one dashing eagle. Full of run for Ramon Sanchez to the extreme outside comes Aha moment. A huge effort from sudden thoughts down on the inside, but the Ed Burke Million winner, one dashing eagle is going to crush him here in the All-American Futurity. Sudden thoughts a good second. Aha moment finishing third. Native T. Rose just won a Corona, fourth and fifth.